I've got a beef with vegetarians, which is that even cows eat meat, animals, alive. I remember seeing a video of a cow eating um, a baby chicken. <laughs> so I have nothing against anyone eating <laughs> vegetables and not eating meat. Anyone does whatever the fuck they want. The beef I really have with vegetarians is when it gets superior and when it starts telling you about how wrong your life is compared to theirs. And the one claim that uh, I want to really talk about today is the claim that most vegetarians that I've heard make, which is, I don't kill to eat. And that's bollocks, <laughs> because that's bullshit. Um, I've been growing my food now for a year and a half and to anyone who's been around plants it's very very clear that they live they're born they live they die and when you cut them well you hurt them um, and if uh, exactly like a, a living person animal if you don't give them attention they eventually die and the more attention you give them, the more you look after them, the more they grow and flourish. Exactly like the dog that I've been looking after and exactly like the clients I work with and exactly like when I see parents looking after their kids. And so the thing that frustrates me about this is on one hand that sort of feeling of being superior because you don't kill for food when really you do kill for food and you live in this illusion of oh look at me I'm so good I'm so amazing because I don't kill to eat look how highly ethical and moral I am no it's bullshit the only difference is that uh, that the plants don't cry, that the plants don't make a noise, and maybe they don't move. But again, from being around a garden, I can see that plants kill each other. Even plants kill each other. They suffocate each other, they fight for light. <laughs> and so, what I want is to bring the question back from something that makes no sense, that is not even factually true, to a conversation that to me makes a lot more sense, which is how do we eat ethically? What is the moral? And for me, it's the respect of life. For me, it's the respect of the life that I'm eating, whether it's an animal or a plant. In the same way that I want to see chickens run around and I don't want to see battery chickens, the same way I don't want to see my carrots in an industrial hydroponic crap. I want my carrots to be outside, to be eaten by worms and to be part of the cycle of life, to live what I consider to be a honorable life. And so when I choose what I eat, the way I like to think about it is, has this form of life been respected from the moment it was born all the way to the point it's eaten? And I believe that cooking is one of the ways that you can honor the food. You can honor the animal. You can honor the plant. So whatever you choose to eat, what is your criteria? What is the question you ask yourself to choose, to know whether you, it's something you can or you can't eat, something that is okay or not? I'm really curious to see and to hear what are the different thoughts, different criteria you have to decide um, which life you kill because 
I feel that the moment we acknowledge the fact that we're killing life, we can respect it. I find it terribly disrespectful when vegetarians say that they don't kill to eat because it really implies that all the plants that they eat don't live. And that, for me, is very disrespectful. That is terrible. So let's respect life. Whatever form it takes, whether it speaks or not, whether it moves or not. Because I believe it makes all of us happier. It's not better, it's not superior. It's just a choice that each one of us make in the sentence that I always remember when I make a choice, when I make a decision, which is that one's freedom stops where another starts. One's freedom stops where another starts. Keep eating, keep living.